How you doing? Good, thank you. How do you do? I'm not sure, but we can get to the bottom of it. Where do we end up in a hundred years? What I find interesting is that for a lot of things that we worry about, there are actually very positive trends. Education, child mortality, economics. But it was a study earlier this year that showed that most of the species in the ocean can go extinct within this century due to a combination of factors including pollution, but also climate change and over-exploitation. There are a lot of people who do care about these issues, but they think on a way too small scale. They often focus on very local or partial solutions, and we may even be worse off by doing very little instead of doing nothing. Why does it all matter? Why even bother? I think that life is the greatest invention this planet has ever seen. Most of the problems we face today are side effects of things people didn't think about in the last century. What do you think the worst case scenario is? There's quite a lot at stake if we screw up. Technology is very powerful, whether it is fossil fuel related, or whether it's artificial intelligence, or whether it's weaponry. If we don't manage it well enough, it's not us living creatures. It's the technology that will win. What is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? When I first discovered this problem for myself, I was diving in Greece and I suddenly realized I came across more plastic bags than fish. I like diving with life and not plastic bags, and I thought, the heck, why not just clean this up? The plastic pollution problem has always been portrayed as something that is unsolvable. The story has always been, okay, we can't clean it up, so the best thing we can do is not make it worse. To me, that's a very uninspiring message. If that will truly be the best thing, to have a future that isn't worse than the present, I don't know if I would be that passionate about what I'm doing here. Every week, the volume of two Empire State Buildings worth of plastic flows into the oceans. Part of that eventually reaches one of the five global concentration areas called Jaya's. And the biggest one is halfway between Hawaii and California and about a third of all plastics of all oceans and seas combined is concentrated in this one area. In the past, people proposed to clean it up using vessels and nets, which would take about 79,000 years. It would cost many tens of billions of dollars. It would also kill sea life and create emissions, etc. So not such an attractive proposal. But then I realized that this, this area rotates, so the plastic doesn't stay in one spot. People were telling me there was another reason why it couldn't be done. But I thought, well, is that really a problem or could I also use that in my advantage? Because why would you move through the oceans if the oceans can move through you? So I envisioned an array of very long floating barriers which enable the plastic to concentrate itself. And it really looks like a giant letter V. And what happens is that the current pushes the plastic towards the center, thereby becoming increasingly more concentrated. Once arrived in the center, you can probably walk on the water, and that's the spot where we can then easily get it out of the water and store it before shipping it to land for recycling. On a personal level, I really look forward to that day that we can go out with a boat and see this massive 60-mile structure on the horizon. With one of those systems, we can clean up about half the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in 10 years' time. What do you think is going to happen? Are we going to go out in a blaze and take the earth with us? Or do you see a, a happy ending here? This century, the challenge really is to convert a lifestyle created in the previous century into one that will still be around in the next century. We just 
finish an expedition where we went out with 30 boats and sort of mapped this great Pacific garbage patch. What we found was that actually most of the mass of the plastic is still locked up in the large objects. And my greatest worry is that if we don't clean it up quickly, what will happen over the next few decades is that all the big stuff crumbles down into the small, dangerous microplastics, basically increasing the amount of microplastics, perhaps 50-fold, perhaps 100-fold, perhaps more, which would be quite a bad outcome, I think. So hence, we uh, try to hurry up. To me, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch really is sort of a symbol of what negative side effects the technology has created in the previous century. And what I really hope is that the ocean cleanup in this century can be a symbol for us using technology to actually make things better. What are your thoughts on space? Any interests? I mean, space is kind of an ocean in and of <laughs> itself. You have a pollution problem in space already. Yeah. And you also have the idea of exploring other worlds and, mm -hmm. you know, People often ask me, will that be your next project, cleaning up space debris? It's a topic very close to my heart because the audacity and the scale of it and the complexity is appealing. I do have a few ideas for that, but first things first, one problem at the time, our priority should be to at least fix this planet before we try to fix another one. The only way to, to get to it is by sort of imagining what is beyond the horizon. I'm very much an optimist and I think that we can do it. The question is, are we fast enough? And as far as we know, we are the only planet where there is confirmed life, so... Better not fuck it up. We better not fuck it up. <laughs>